So now I'm going to explain how you would import data in from an Excel document into CRM. So to start off with, you're going to want to have your Excel document here. Just open it up. And you can see the format for mine. Uh, what's important about it is that I have these little titles for each column here and then I have the data for the column so I have my title my first name then I'll have my first names last name then I have all my last names phone then I have all my phones so you need to make sure that your data is in this sort of format with your title and the row one and then all of your columns information so once you have it like this you would, would save it as and you want to save it as a CSV file comma delimited so press that save just press yes and there you're done closing yeah okay and so now I have my CSV file it's the exact same document it's just in a different sort of format so now I can go to CRM and I can go to contacts and I can go to import data, import data. I'm gonna choose my file make sure you choose the CSV one you saved press next, press next, press next you're gonna want to map this file in the case in this case I'm gonna want it to be importing contacts so I press select contact go to next and now what I have to do is I have to map each XL field to a CRM field so if you remember how I had the title in the first row it's showing the title title each year from source field so last name is going to automatically be mapped to last name first name I can choose to map to the CRM field first name and as for phone I'm going to choose to map it to the CRM field business phone so once you have all your Excel fields mapped to your CRM fields you can press next press next and you can select whether to let CRM try to do duplicate detection. In the case of this, I'll say no. I submit it and press finish. Now it's going to start importing it. So what I do now is I can go to workplace and go into imports. And you can see here, it's this is the import and it's currently importing it. So this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video and now it's completed the status reason is set to completed so now it's been finished so when i go to contacts now i can see all these contacts in my excel document will have been added to it so a little bit more things you can do with this is if i want to go back to my import and undo it i can click on the import and say delete all records imported to this entity during this report or and i can also just delete this sort of import history right here so those are some basic imports I didn't really explain like what would happen if it tells you about an error but you can get that on the internet and this is sort of just a basic explanation of how you would get from Excel to CRM